Hey y'all, welcome back to Keeping It Real with Linda. Y'all, today, I'm just hanging out with y'all today. You know, show y'all my appreciation. Let y'all know that I think about you. Thank all y'all for the like, the share, the comments. And I also have an email. It's Keeping It Real with Linda at gmail.com. And you, something y'all want me to know, uh, something you want to see me do, you know, email me, um, just leave a comment or whatever, you know. But I'm just cooking dinner today. That's it. It's a regular meal. And I'm cooking. I'm frying some chicken breasts that I sliced thin. I'm cooking two cans of corn. Uh, that was a whole corn and a cream corn. And I'm gonna add some butter to that. Put that in there. Put my butter. I have two tablespoons of flour that I'm gonna put in here. Mix that together. I'm gonna put this in my baking dish. It's just two of us, so put that there. I'm putting a pepper in here. Put the pepper. And I'm gonna add a little salt. I really don't do too much salt, but I am in my corn. And this whole corn cream corn. And I'm just gonna mix this together, y'all. And pour it in here. Let me see. Okay. Turn my oven on. I'm baking at 375. Put this in the bottom. All right. I'm making cornbread. I already got my butter. Tablespoon of margarine. It's already in my cornbread. I mean my skillet. Now what I'm finna do. I'm gonna mix it. So what I have here, I have two tablespoons of meal, I mean, two cups of meal and one cup of flour. That's what I have. And this two cup of buttermilk, which I don't think I'm gonna use it all. I'm gonna stir this. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to be putting oil in my pot for my cabbage, my cabbage green. I'm putting oil in that. All right. And while my butter is getting hot, I have bacon that I'm gonna put in. I have four slices, four slices of bacon. Then I'm gonna let fry. Now I'm gonna mix my bread. Like I gotta say this is our dinner for tonight. How many y'all like buttermilk in your bread? It's good, I tell you. It's really good. Put two eggs. Okay. And that's it. And sometimes I put sugar in my bread, but this is not, not occasion that I'm gonna do it. And I also put a little butter in my bread and I say some in the skin. See that? 
Y'all say, let me, um, I knew I would get ready to cook dinner. I say, man, let me get my, um, artists with me. People that support me, you know, let them see more of me. It don't all have to be about special meals, you know, uh, showing recipes all the time. Just what I do. Hold it in. And I'm putting my bread in 375. Okay, my bread is in my oven. This is what I'm gonna be cooking my chicken in. Get that ready. And while that's getting started, I'm finna season my chicken. And I'm not putting much. Just a little onion powder. And these are boneless chicken breasts. I hate when they the chicken be so thick. You don't know what you're buying until you get it out the store. And it be so thick, so what I do, I slice it. Thin it out. And then I put the rest in a Ziploc bag and freeze it until I get ready to use it again. Season my chicken breast. Then I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing, repeat. one on top and then, and then I cover it. Let them cook down and then once they cook down um, and once my cabbage cook down then I season then I also gonna put one whole onion in my cabbage and then put a little chicken broth in my cabbage flour up and how I do to see is my grease hot enough and it's not ready but I can't get some of my chicken ready put this bad piece in my side I can bring y'all closer put you up there it is just a quick meal for us tonight. You might see me cooking some more chicken. And some more chicken. And some more chicken. You know what's really kicking in this world? We gotta do what we gotta do to survive. That. Cost of living very high. You go in the store and you think you gonna come out with you going to with a hundred dollars, you gonna come out with some bags? No. You gonna come out with a couple, yeah. And grease is ready, y'all. You see, I thin them uh, chicken breasts. They were thick. I thin them. And I'm only cooking just six. Six chicken breasts, let's see. Okay. Voila. And that's that. Cost of living is so high. And it's getting worse. And I keep my flour in a little container and keep it in the fridge. 
Ahí no está. Hey y'all, I like this little camera better than uh, the good one. I hope y'all agree. Let me see my camera's cooking. Now, I wanna add my onions. It's one whole onion, y'all. One whole onion. I don't want a large season. I just want a little onion in my cabbage. From my cabbage. Little garlic powder. And I did the onion. And now I'm putting in some black pepper. This pepper be coming out so slow. All right, that's it. Now I'm going to add a little broth. Young. And you do not have to do this, this is what I'm doing. And I can put this in the fridge. I'm going to stir it real good. It smells good. It smells good, y'all. Now we're cooking. And that's it. Now I'm gonna let these cook for a good 20 minutes. Cause I do not want them all the way done. And then you know the corn the corn is already done, y'all, so it's not going to take long. And I'm going to have to show y'all how my daughter-in-law, when she was down here for Tennessee, she rearranged my, she did my refrigerator. She did my kitchen cabinet. Because she kept hearing me talking about what I had to do. But I be so busy making candy and cakes for people and also sell cakes. Whatever they want, I buy the ingredient. I buy the ingredient and fix what they want. And I charge $30 for my cakes. Some people say I need to charge more, but you know, it's okay. I ain't gonna get rich off of them. I don't think. Well, I'm gonna take that back. We don't know what God got for me. But I love doing it. I love cooking. So what y'all think about my videos that I've been putting out? What y'all think about that? Do y'all like them? Me and my hood, we get a kick out of them. So I hope y'all feel the same way. I hope y'all enjoying it. Hope y'all getting a kick out of it. I guess it take you raising your kids, helping with your grandkids, taking care of your husband. And then there come a time that you find for yourself. And then I had time to um, stop focus on my husband, what he doing, you know, um, expecting him, expecting to do what I think he wanted me to do. I had to realize, I guess when I got old, I realized, okay, what you want to do? What you going to do? Huh? 
Hey, I found something that I love to do. I was cooking for everybody anyway. <laughs> when I say, when I was cooking for everybody, I'm talking about a feast. The whole family, nieces, nephews, great nieces, grandchildren, great grandchildren, friends, cousins, everybody. And I will work day and night. And all I want to do is see my family eat and be happy and enjoy ourselves. That made my day. I love doing stuff like that. You know, we're going to take the chicken out. And I will be putting my chicken in here. I already got my paper towel. And that. Y'all. But I'm gonna tell y'all. If you wanna try something in life, just step out on faith and try it. Trust God. Don't worry about how you look. Don't worry about what people gonna say about you. Don't worry about uh, she this and she that because I didn't make it this far listening to people. I know people talk about Jesus Christ, they're going to talk about me. So I always had my own style, I always had my own way, and I always had my own mind. I never was a follower, I always was a leader. So I'm not very easy to intimidate. Period. Because uh, you might say some stuff to me. I might not say a word. Then I'll pop off and say, but you know, girl, I had a say -up. I'm that person. You got to really get out of my skin to see reaction. And that's going to take a lot. But so, because I'm very content in my life. I have traveled my road. I have traveled my road. I have ran my course in the streets. Now, I'm gonna settle, been settled for the last 25 years, married, happily. Ups and down, yeah. Who, what you talking about, tornado, hurricane? Katrina. <laughs> Baby, we done been through the storm. We done lost everything. I mean, everything. Nothing. Nothing but the ground through Katrina. But we stuck together. We stuck together. And, and thank God for the, the knowledge and the gift that my husband have too. Cause them time I was raising sand and him in the streets and all all the time and all the time he was doing something beautiful to benefit us in the long run. But at that time I couldn't see that. But I'm living in it now. What he was trying to do 25 years ago, and I had a problem with it. I'm living in it, and it's paid for. He worked hard. To get us what we had. All right, now I'm cutting off my cabbage. I just cut my cabbage off because the heat gonna do the rest. And I do not fry my chicken real hard. Y'all ain't seeing how it look when they cook just a little more. I bet y'all say, that lady. Well, baby, this lady can tell you some stories. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm taking my chicken out. And look how little they get. It's big enough for us. It's big enough for us. That will count. 
long as you can feed your 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 household. But yeah, y'all, I'm not gonna keep y'all long. I'm getting used to, you know, trying to learn how to talk more. With y'all. And I'm just letting you know, I'm just the type. Whatever I talk about, it's gotta be real. I don't sugarcoat nothing. Hey, baby. What? That hubby. <laughs> he gone. Okay, now y'all, I'm finna take out my coin. See, I spent time with y'all. I cooked the meal. Right before y'all. I'm gonna get my coin out of the oven. And I don't think it's still cooking. It's the bread. And y'all have seen my bread before. So, and this is what I cook. Uh oh. Little chicken strips. Corn, and that's how my cabbage look. And y'all, that is it for today. You have to be consistent, and I know time is hard. Everything is high. You know, the grocery high, gas high, everything. But what I do, and how I do. I just take one day at a time and I just be mean. If I try to do what I see other people do, where will I be and how far would I go? So it's no competition, you know, when you're dealing with a bunch of people, not to me. Because some got it and some don't have it. And I'm not going to hurt myself to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. But you know you have to eat. You know you have to live every day. So I be consistent with my life. What I live, how I live, you know. I know I have to eat. So that's how I do my videos. And I try new recipes, you know. Some mine, some I've seen off of YouTube, you know. Not a copycat. But everybody tries somebody's recipe. And I do too. So... Not better than nobody else. But what I want to say to my all my viewers that have viewed me, um, I know I'm new. Don't nobody know me. Nobody know who I am. But from my point of view and what I'm learning in this industry, YouTube, um, streets, I look at the people that view my channel subscribe to my channel because if I try to um, conquer the world then I'll be kind of messed up. So my job is to try to keep the viewers that I have the subscriber that I have. And I can't give you no more than I have. I can only give you what's real and the truth and what I cook, this is who I am. Linda is who I am. My t my um, platform is keeping it real with Linda. So I just want my subscriber, my viewer, whoever watching my video, I like y'all, just keep liking, sharing, subscribe. And I'm just letting y'all know, I'm human, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a great-grandmother, I'm a wife, I'm a sister, I'm an auntie, I'm all of that. So 
So, um, I think I'm out there in the YouTube world. And I, hey, people's, people getting to see that I, I'm staying in it and people seeing that I'm being consistent. But I don't push myself. I don't push my way through nothing. I don't do that. I take one day at a time. And whatever I need to get there, it will in due time. And God is God way or no way. It's his will to he'll see me through. So that way I'm not um desperate. I just wanna be um a good YouTuber, respectable, caring, passion, and you know, talk to y'all even though I can't hear you. We not testing each other, nothing like that. But y'all see my video on so I am talking to all of y'all. Hey. So thank y'all for everything. Even uh my husband friend, um I forgot his name. Anyway, he told his wife, his daughter, and they subscribed to my channel. And I want my husband friend said, thank you and your wife, your daughter for subscribing to my channel. And I know I have not met you. I see you out there with my husband, but thank y'all so much. And I hope I inspire y'all. Hope y'all like my videos. And um, just keep watching. And I'm going to keep keeping it real. Until my next video, y'all stay blessed, stay safe, stay out of trouble. I love y'all. Until the next time. Bye.